that's enough production quality for one video. Um, so, as I highlighted a little flamboyantly, today we're looking at the in-depth look at the ceramic spray coating from Adams and comparing it to their graphene spray coating. Now, the intro is sort of designed as a gesture that this is old and this is new. This is uncool and this is cool or hip or whatever the kids are calling it these days. Fleek, I think. So graphene is getting basically infused into everything and almost more than what ceramic got infused to. Ceramic is stuck to like paint and glass and uh, and like wheel type products, but like graphene is going into tire shines and other things like that, which we didn't really see ceramic do. So this video is going to be comparing these guys in more of a clinical lab type setting, if you can call a garage a lab, where I have full control over the variables and we measure things in a sort of an exact fashion. So they're applied, uh, they've been applied to a test panel. They're going to cure for a week before we do any hydrophobics or wash tests. Just, again, ideal conditions. We are going to apply them to a black panel that has a simulated haze to test their filling abilities because graphene, description for the graphene product states that it, it it is a step above in pretty much every category. So I've got the real world test running already with these guys, but this is going to be the, the more clinical look. Um, so this is, we're going to do the chemical resistance testing using regular soaps. And then we'll, you know, we'll step into like an APC type product that you would, you know, typically use on a product that's designed to last six months. You could, you could have a refresh done to it in the middle of it, uh, you know, three month mark, two month mark, especially if you go through like a winter. So, you know, there's val valid reasons to do it. And that's what we're going to do. And, um, I don't really have a way to test slickness because I don't have any flat panels. They're all curved in one way or another that they, you can't just tip them, but I'll, I'll feel it and let you know if I think there's any difference based on my hand and you can take that for what it's worth. Um, besides that, these are both, uh, were applied to these cotton applicators here and they didn't harden at all. One of the trinkers got a little sticky, but after a couple pumps, it released again. So, um, you know, if, if you're planning on buying these, I would probably take the triggers out and put the caps back on just because they are kind of getting there. And as far as ceramic hardening areas, they don't do it in the applicators, but they could, they could make a trigger, uh, die prematurely. So probably worth just taking them out. They give you trick caps for a reason with them. So, um, besides that, um, that's, that's it. We're gonna, um, it's going to be a week from now before I actually do the hydrophobics, but, uh, we'll get into those and the gloss and filling, uh, in a week with future me. Okay, everyone, it is time to check the gloss and fill <coughs> between the Adams ceramic spray coating and the graphene ceramic spray coating. So test panels here, this is cured for about a week. So any kind of time-based improvements should have fully come and gone by now. And uh, as you can see, here is our control section. So we'll just pan back and forth. And you tell me, what do you think looks better? There's a bit of improvement, a little darkening. Pretty close though. So, Without further ado, ceramic on this side and graphene on this side. So, if I had to guess, make a choice, I think maybe the graphene has a slight edge, but it's it's very slight. So, 
Anyway, let's move on to something fun like hydrophobics. All right, folks, back to the hydrophobic bin of justice. Uh, we've got the test sections here. In the middle is control, so we can compare no protection to whatever remains. And um, Adam's ceramic is on this side. Adam's graphene is on that side. So that's how it'll work. For the wash testing, we're going to be using Bathe Essence from Gion. Super neutral, super concentrated uh, soap. Um, and then stepping it up to 10 to 1 megs APC for the um, sort of strip wash or... Um, you know, a few months in, you got some stickage, you got things starting to bond to the paint. Obviously, you, there's a variety of products you should use, but I don't want to use iron and tar removers in my enclosed garage and fumigate myself, so I'm using APC, which is commonly used as a TFR type solution by a lot of people. So that's what we're gonna use for this. And uh, before we get into the soap, let's get some gratuitous beading shots. here and uh, I'm not expecting a failure but hey if we get one then at least we got something to talk about okay that was five with a couple double dips thrown in there for good measure so let's check the sheeting first because that's where you're going to more obviously see your <clears throat> excuse me, uh, slowdowns, beating, it's always going to make it look better than it is. So graphene first. It seems to be doing just fine. And then ceramic. confirming what nothing looks like. Looks to be both are doing just fine. So we'll just check the beating. move on to um, the APC and then we can wrap this up.
I'm giving it to him. It's slightly faster on the sheet off and the beads are slightly more round. <sighs> what do you know? The old trumps the new. But uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I find that very interesting, but so be it. I mean, uh, they're both doing okay. They both seem to shrug off the, the APC hits without too much drama. But uh, yeah, I don't know. For my eyes, this looks better. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Um, curious to hear your opinions. If any of you use these in the real world, you know, absolutely let me know. I've got them running on the car right now as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to wrap this up. If you're looking between these two and they're both the same price, just get that one. Unless you like the label or something on the other one, then you get that one. But I think this one's outperforming it. In the real world, they're pretty much neck and neck. I haven't seen that much of a difference between the two, but in this test, I personally think this one is doing slightly better. This one did do a little bit better in gloss from what I could tell, but it was so close, I wouldn't choose one over the other just because of that one performance. So anyway, thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.